Hey guys, Monkey Man here. Today we're gonna talk about the Tobacco Velocity RDA. Here it is right here. Let's take a good vape and see what happens. Right now I'm vaping at 100 watts. Uh, the build on here is a 0.1. Exact, it's a 0.13. It's a nice RDA, it's a lot of flow, lots of airflow. It's got two, let me unscrew this first so you can see it. It's got two eight millimeter horizontal airflow holes right here, one on one side, one on the other. It also has six two millimeter holes all the way around. You can choose to use all of it, or in this case, only some of it. This has immense airflow in it. Well, let's take it down and uh, let's break this puppy apart and see what we get. Alright guys, let's break this puppy down. So out of the box, it comes with an Allen key. Looks like it comes with a 510 adapter so you can choose your own. It's got a couple of O-rings and grub screws. This particular color is called Tiffany Blue. Not a fan, but let's uh, take apart this RDA. Very simple. Literally, you unscrew everything. Oh, I think it takes forever. Damn, I'm getting carpal tunnel from this stuff. Oh, I think I got stuck. La, 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 la. There you go. All right. Here are the four pieces to it. Now, as you can see, the holes for the airflow are quite large. You have, like I said earlier, you have six two millimeter holes on the sides. You also have two eight millimeter horizontal holes right here. This does give you lots and lots of airflow. It's a very good, if not better, um, than most RDAs. I personally like it because if you look at it, it looks like a ridiculous smiley face. But it works. The build deck itself has two, uh, whatever these things are called, O-rings. And you can put, technically you could put a quad coil on here. It's got plenty of room for it. Um, I'm not a, I don't profess to be a coil builder. However, you could stack them on top of each other uh, with minimal space. And you should be able to, uh, yeah, you got the room. You just, it's just going to be tight. Now the fortunate thing about this RDA is, is that it does have a very deep juice well. If I had to approximate it, I'm looking at about 4 mils, roughly. Alright, well, let's put her back together. We'll go back up top and uh, let's see what she can do. Alright guys, final thoughts on the Tobacco Velocity RDA. Um, personally, I like it. It's got a lot of airflow, and that's the main reason I like it. It also has a deep juice well as well as the possibilities of building a quad build on this thing. Granted, it would be a little bit tight, but with somebody that's far better than I, I, can, I believe they can get away with it. Hauser Vape, this is a uh, IPv3 LI. I'll be vaping this at 125 watts at a 0.1 dual core, excuse me, dual coil build. It's nice. Um, Taste-wise, it's there. It's on point. Uh, Vape-wise, it's also on point. I just wish it was a little bit thicker. I believe I can do that by having a lower ohm build. Maybe something in the 0, .0 something. Like a 0 .08, 0 .09. I believe the uh, vape would be much denser and thicker. Let's bump this up. Let's go up to 160 watts. 
without trying to blow my throat up. Look, I got nothing. Oh, look at that. Interesting. All right, well, that's enough with this idea. Um, one drawback to it. I have noticed on vaping on this for about five or six minutes that after a little while, there's leakage on the bottom of the deck and on top of my mod. Is it residual? I don't think so. Um, I cleaned this before I actually put it back on my mod and I cleaned the top of my mod. So there is a little tiny bit of juice on top. If you zoom up on here, you can see that there is a little bit of juice on top of the mod. I'm not a fan of leakage in any way, shape, or form. So that's the only con that I really have about this. And on that note, don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys have a great day. Monkey Man out.